There are a couple of other things we need to talk about when dealing with verbs, and one of our last ones here are regular verbs and past participles. For most regular verbs, we are changing the ending when we change our tense. For example, in past tense, a regular verb ends with ed. So we would say, I walk the dog, or I walked the dog. Another example would be, I jump today, or I jumped yesterday. Not all verbs have that regular ending, though. Some verbs are irregular. This means that we actually need to change the spelling of them when we move into our past tense. One example would be, I catch the fish, that is our present tense, but if we wanted to do the past tense, we would have to change our spelling to, I caught the fish. We could not say, I catched the fish, does not sound great. In our next example, we would say, I hit the ball today, or I hit the ball yesterday. Now, this one is a little unusual because we're not changing the spelling at all. But again, that's why it's irregular. It does not just change our ending the normal way we would expect. So what is a past participle? A past participle is the verb that we use when we are using our weird perfect tenses. So our past perfect or our present perfect tenses. So when we're dealing with a past participle, we are sometimes going to use the past tense spelling of that verb. So we would say, I walk the dog, I walked the dog, I have walked the dog. That would be our regular verb with an ed ending on our past tense. Sometimes for regular verbs, the past participle is the same as the past tense. I caught the fish, I have caught the fish. Same thing with hit. I hit the ball today, I hit the ball yesterday, I have hit the ball. However, in certain cases with certain words, we're actually going to need a third change. An example is the word choose. In the present tense, we would say, I choose an outfit. But if we were talking about the past tense, we would say, I chose an outfit for the dance. If we are using the past participle though, that is going to be another change. I have chosen an outfit for the dance. Some other examples of irregular verbs with past participles are begin, freeze, and swim. When we're using begin, we would say begin, began, or have begun. Notice, in order to use the word begun, we need to have some form of the word have. Had, has, or have begun. If we were going to do swim, we would say swim, swam, or had, have, swum. If we were going to do the word freeze, we would say freeze, froze, or had or have frozen. Again, notice that we need to say had or have before frozen, and had or have before swum. The last thing to talk about with verbs is active versus passive. An active sentence is where the subject is doing the action. So for example, we would say a car hit Chapman. If we were using a passive construction in this sentence, the subject is receiving an action. Chapman was hit by a car. The passive sentence here isn't exactly wrong, but we typically want to avoid unnecessarily passive sentences. So let's look at a couple more examples. In this example, we have because Roger sold the most toasters, he gave a prize. If he sold the most toasters, it's unlikely he's the one who's giving away a prize. He's probably going to get a prize instead. So currently, this is in an active form. Roger sold the most toasters, he gave a prize, but we would like to make it passive. Because Roger sold the most toasters, he was given a prize. That becomes passive. In our next example, we can see when using the passive can be helpful versus when it can be slightly harmful. In this example, after Paolo read the menu, a sandwich was picked. That's passive, and the problem is that it's a little bit too vague. We don't know who is doing the action of picking the sandwich. What we'd like to do instead is make this a more active sentence. We would say, after Paola read the menu, he picked a sandwich. Our subject is doing the action of picking a sandwich. Sometimes on the test, you will see an unnecessarily passive sentence that's very long. Listen to this example. After Paolo read the menu, a sandwich was picked by him. Although we know who's doing that action, it is way too long and definitely wrong. We want to make it active and keep it, he picked a sandwich.